the tenant that we have there is track it, train it, and tool it. So what we did was we actually were tracking how well um, people were formulating the hypothesis to our particular standard, which is great. We trained people. You saw the confluence page that in 2020 I built that still were not building the hypotheses the right way. Um, uh, so we trained it. We, we continue to train it. And then we tooled it. So when you start an experiment or when you create an experiment, you actually have to enter in the hypothesis and it has to have that particular standard in that particular format. So if we do this, then this will happen because we know this and success is defined as this, right? Very, very simple. So now there's, there's tooling in place to make it so that you actually have to use those words in order to be able to go on to create an experiment. Um, the other things that we have up there is, um, you know, did you actually put a target or sample size in there? So you got a point. You get a point for each, well, you got different point levels for each one of these things. Uh, and now how fast did you do pre-analysis or post-analysis? What was the duration of the experiment? Um, did you have any restarts at all? So we want to make sure that we track that and understand because it's a waste, right? Um, and no changes to the metrics or did you have a holdout? So um, this quality scorecard was really important for us to be able to measure the growth of our experimentation capability and the quality that we had. 